pressed it. I don't know what I've done. Oh, I've got it around the wrong way. <laughs> I had it facing the wrong way again, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. Hang on. People are probably looking at me and seeing me being numpty. Right. Hello, everybody. Oh, <laughs> camera shaking there. Oh, God. I don't know if I've done this right. Hang on, I'll get me. I just had it on around the wrong way. I, I tried it earlier and I moved the, the phone and then as I spun it round, everything went upside down. I was like, oh, my goodness. Um, first of all, let's put my glasses on. Um, can you all hear me? All right, please. If I could just have thumbs up, a yes or anything please i know i'm a little bit behind on the thing so i'll just wait and see oh did i see something i think oh i might need to turn me me ipad right ah that's a bit better oh honestly i've got wires and everything everywhere how do i get rid of that right oh no that's not better i can't see it at all okay right so yes lovely thank you um First of all, excuse the greasy hair. Um, thanks ever so much for being here. I still haven't got my voice properly. I have got my little lozenges, so hopefully they're gonna help a bit. Um, obviously I'm here on my own. I have got my husband in the room over there, so I might have to call him in because what I'm gonna be doing, while I'm doing stuff, obviously I need to look and see, just in case anyone asks me questions, because don't forget, I can't hear you. You can hear me, blah, 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 sorry about that. Um, but I can't hear you, so I need to every now and again keep looking over here to see if anyone's asking anything. If you have asked a question and I haven't answered it, I'm not ignoring you, it's probably that I haven't seen it and it's scrolled on by. So just ask it again, or I'll go through it all at the end and, you know, answer. But first of all, I just want to say thank you for being here. <laughs> like, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I thought it was just going to be me and Donna. <laughs> like, Donna's my friend in Nevada. Um, she's always looking out for me, bless her. So I am going to try and turn my camera around now. This might be fun. I hope I don't press a button and, and switch it off. I've got to try and remember how I've done it now. Right, so bear with, hang on a minute. Eek. Didn't need um, sound effects, I don't suppose. Let's get the thing around there. How's that? Right, so we're all around the right way. If I turn that up, yep, we can see the words. Da, 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 da. Ah, right, okay. Right, I've only got a tiny little bit of the chat. I've got no idea how I make that bigger. Do I just press on it or I don't know? Because I need to see what I'm what you're seeing as well. I've got so much to show you guys. So first of all, let me just plug this thing in. So this has all come about, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. This has all come about because of me. I got a little message come up on Instagram saying like, oh, have you seen this pancake maker? I don't even eat pancakes. Not not American ones anyway. I eat like crepe ones, what we have in the UK um, with Nutella and strawberries, but that's another story. Um, but yeah, for some reason, well, I suppose because it was coming up to pancake day. So, you know, what the old um, things are like, the algorithms, so they throw it out there. Um, Anyway, so I, I got it because whatever I do in life, I go shopping, I'm in the supermarkets, I look at colours together and I think, oh, that's nice. Um, I could try that with that. And yeah, and I see things and my brain just starts going. It's probably why I don't sleep very well. Um, anyway, I just thought to myself, it is so cute that I had to have it and see if it would work. So I took a chance absolutely took a chance on it and I'm really pleased to say that it's worked. 
So I'm just going to have a little sip of water. Hang on. Sorry if you've got sound effects then. <laughs> right, so one thing I will say to start with. I, if I was cutting circles to go inside this, just freehand, and then I saw that I had me framelit dies. So that one just worked out, or that one, yeah, it was that one, the biggest one, just worked out perfect. So I just got loads and loads of baking paper. In the States, you guys call it parchment paper. Um, and yeah, it's just perfect for it. I want to put this down on pretty much everything I do on this, mainly because I want to protect it. It's like a Teflon base, isn't it? So I want to protect it. Um, but I did do a couple of little experiments. There's some things I haven't tried, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. But one thing I was really curious with is I wanted to try different substrates in this and see what would happen. So... I tried a piece of canvas. These are just little little tiny canvases that I think I might have gotten from, I don't know, Hobbycraft, or I might even have got them out in the States when I was out there in Michaels or something. But they're quite thick. So first of all, I'm thinking, hmm, is it is it thick enough? Like, is it too thick? I know it goes through the wood. Where's my little wooden hearts? So it goes through that, and it's probably a similar thickness, but Things are all to do with density, isn't it? Um, anyway, I tried it and I wanted to try it with the pastel pearls. So I popped it on. It took a while to heat, but obviously this is hot this side as well. So putting the lid down, it helps melt it. But because I used the pastel pearls on it, I coloured it in a, a black pigment ink, first of all. But... If you, I don't know if you can, it's like a, you remember the little puffy, it's, it's actually lifting off. It's not lifting off around the edges, but it's, it's like, it's like I could have put a squeaky toy in there. <laughs> I'll try that. But it's, it's literally just puffing off sort of thing. It's really weird, but I've got a really good result with it. So I was wondering if I'd done it, with, um, I won't do the pearls this time. So that was why I put the black, I, I'm gonna waffle. I'm really sorry guys, because my head goes from one thing to another. So you can all sort of say on there, shut up Mary and say that again or whatever. Um, but when, it's, when it goes on there on black, then that's when these guys show their true colors and they're beautiful. But I also cheekily added in some shimmer powder. I wanted to see what that would look like. And I just, well, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Look at the effect. It's beautiful. So what I'm thinking, if I do it just in plain, and let's, let's go some of these Delicate Blooms by Alex Siberia. Now everything, well, not everything actually, I wasn't that clever. Um, but most things that I'm using, if you do want to treat yourself, there's links in the description. Um, of the video. Um, I'd appreciate it if you click the link, if you did buy through that, because if you haven't got, um, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how it works, but basically, if you click the link and it takes you through, then um, I get some pennies and that helps me pay for all this. So I really appreciate that. But also one thing to say is if you click my links and you go through to the WOW websites, so wowembossingpowder.co.uk or wowembossingpowder.com, then you can put in a code WOWDT, Donald Trump, sorry, <laughs> M-E, Marion Emberson, um, and then that will give you a 10% discount on everything you buy on the WOW website. Okay, let's stick that on. Not included shipping. Right, so I'm going to put that in there. So I've, I'm, all I'm trying to do, by putting the ink on there, I'm seeing if that's going to hold the powder anymore. But I'm just wondering if it's where this is loose on there and it just makes it come off. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to try. So we saw me doing it in the other video with wood and with chipboard, which I'll have a little play with that as well. Um... 
I've got some wax out so we can do some like wax melts on it and have a little go with that. I've also got my wax seal, little stamp out as well. I'm just trying to think of all the things people were asking me on that previous video, if this would work, if that would work. Um, and then what have I got? Oh, I'm gonna try the, um, well actually I'm not gonna try it, I know this works because I did try it, um, but I tried this ages ago actually, um, using a, think about it Marion, think about it, what did I use? Uh, a hot foil plate. So I'm just gonna use a word with some foil, etc. Um, I'm gonna try some buttons. I know you can just normally just push them into the wow ink and put powder on them and heat set them, but I'm wondering if I can get it a little bit more raised with this. Someone said to me about doing it on metal embellishments. So I've got my lovely little metal leaf. This would be interesting seeing it come through there. Um, what else? Oh, I've got something really exciting, but I might save that to last. So <laughs> we'll see. Right now, I can't see. Can someone tell me? Because I don't know if I'm doing this um, chat right. Edit, live chat, all messages. Right there, you go, you numpty. Right. Like maybe put something over it, but not touching to help heat from the top. Right, okay, so where's me? Right, okie dokie. Right, sorry about this, guys. You can tell I'm new at it. Is Rick gonna play the guitar? No, he's not gonna play the guitar. <laughs> oh, Kim. <laughs> that would be hilarious, actually. Okay, so, as you know, it's got heat from this side. So we're starting to melt. You can see that starting to melt. So let's just get that in there. I might, I do love it, um, adding my ultra highs. Oh, someone's car alarm's going off. <laughs> I hope it's not mine. Rick, that's not ours, is it? There's a car alarm going off. He's a bit deaf. <laughs> Honestly. Rick? Ricky? There's a car alarm going off. <laughs> he's just sitting there, he's like, I oh, know, let him take it. <laughs> oh, you can hear it, okay. <laughs> I'm saying he's deaf. Right, okay, let me just, while I'm letting this um, melt, I'm just gonna read some of the things. Um, yeah, do you know what? You don't have to buy loads and loads of embossing powders. You really don't. Um, because you can mix them, you can play with them and mix them up. So I would always recommend like three to five colours to start with. You really don't need loads. Okay, so if we're looking at this, we can still see this bit is still powder. This is all lovely and molten. I don't actually need to add the white because the yellow one, the sunlit gleam, already had white ultra high in there. So that's cool. I might add a bit of black actually, a bit of the ebony and see what it is. So I should say hello to everyone, but I, I don't know how many are on in. <laughs> I'm just so glad I'm not on my own. <laughs> I was so worried I was just gonna be like me and Donna. It was like, <laughs> okay, let's just add a little, let's just be brave, Marion, be brave. It's what you like to do. Just add a little bit of black. Okay, where I've gone the light one, because if it's opaque, let me just explain something. If a powder is has got an O on there, that means it's opaque. Generally, this is generally, that means it's been made on a white base. So OM means that one is definitely marbling. It's been made on a white base. So as it melts, the color comes off and moves and then the white comes through. If it's tea, it's translucent. So that's been made on a clear base. That's your differences. And that makes a difference when you're um, embossing on, say like wood, on black card, on white card, you'll get something different each time. So, oh, do you know what? I am rubbish at this chat thing. 
Oh, oh, hello, Cheryl. Thank you for not leaving me, darling. <laughs> I, I'm really not good at this chat thing, guys. So I'm probably just going to have to go at the end and, yeah, just go through everything because I can't. <laughs> I, I'm sitting there thinking it, there's no more... Um, no more comments and then I just touched it and it just whizzed up but so yeah I'm not good at this oh dear thank you Terry or, or crazy some people would say right see look at that oh it looks a bit um I do like to say diseased so let's just have a little go so I'm gonna put my cocktail stick I, oh I've just broke it <laughs> a little bit hard I just grabbed my cocktail stick again, my half a cocktail stick. I can't remember what you call them. Oh, toothpicks. You call them toothpicks in the States, don't you? So let's just get a little bit of swirling going on. And do, do, do. I might have messed it up completely now. But you won't know until the end. So I'm just going to mm, put that down and let that just melt a little bit more. But the joy of this, oh, the swirling does make it unique, doesn't it? I really love the swirling. And I never came up with the swirling idea. Richard, one of the um, co-owners of WOW, I was up there and his sister Sally was there one day. And we were playing and we were melting stuff. And then all of a sudden she got some ultra high and she dropped it in and she swirled it. And I was like, oh my goodness, Sally, that is amazing. So I nicked that idea. So <laughs> it's like, it was just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I just, I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, is Mama Smith here? Oh, hello. I thought you were going dancing. <laughs> oh, oh, see, look, that is just, it looks like a piece of abstract art, if I say so myself. Right, let's just have a little look. You'd never want to overdo it. I'm going to lift it off. Pop that down there. Get that bit of wood out of the way. Many fires. Okay, I'll let that just cool down a little. That just looks amazing. Look at that. Let me come up to the cam. Oh, hang on, I can't see what you're seeing. Hang on, sorry, teasing you then. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, hang on, I'm not in macro. Come back down, Marion. It does, it just looks like a piece of abstract art, doesn't it? It's fabulous, absolutely fabulous, if I say so myself. Okay, let's get that. So, I mean, you imagine loads of these, take this bit, these bits off, but you imagine these, you could have a few of these, just all done and then on a bigger canvas. How gorgeous. I don't wanna, I don't know if that's gonna be, it's still warm, okay, it's still warm. But can you see it's puffed out again? So the ink didn't make any difference. I just wondered if, because the other one, I didn't put ink on it. Um, actually, I did. I put the black on it, but it didn't make any difference. So, yeah, look, we've got puffy. <laughs> I just love that. I really love that. But it looks really dimensional. So it looks great. Really, 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 really looks great. Okay, so... Let's just move that out of the way. Now, what else am I going to show you? You might have to remind me. I have got all bits out. It's like I need... Um, can you die cut it after it cools? You Oh, right, okay. Thank you, Ziggy Shrugged, or Creations by Ziggy Shrugged. Um, yes, you can. Obviously, not on a canvas. Um, so let me do a piece for you on that, and then I will die cut it and show you. So just get that on there. Let's do, let's pick up a bit of, we'll have a bit of blue tang. So again, someone said to me, oh, you use so much powder. Honestly, guys, I'm really not using a lot. You get, these pots look little. You get so much in these pots. You really do. Glassy ocean. So just glassy ocean. And I'm just filling in areas. Come around here. I'm going to do a little... I've got me Tim Holtz... Um, what do you call it's with me? Um, oh, think about it, Marion. Think about it. What have I got? What have I got? Um, oh, let's try that. 
This is the sea turtle. Now this is opaque marbling. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, thank you, Mama Smidge. That's so lovely of you. Sorry, my voice went really high then. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, um, oh my God, what colour is that first blue? That was blue tang. Okay. Um, missed the beginning, but is that normal? Grease proof, absolutely. It is grease proof paper. If you're in the UK, I get it from the pound shop. Um, I think in the States you call it parchment paper, but that's exactly what it is. So basically it's like a non-stick. Okay, so, and I did try, I don't know if you saw in the video, but I did try um, some, what do you call it? You know the um, non-stick craft sheets? I cut a bit of that up and done it on that. Worked perfect. I'm gonna stick a little bit more of that blue tang on there. Just get that in there. It's beautiful, isn't it, blue tang? It is absolutely stunning. Right, so, close the lid on that. Um, do, 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 do. Blue tang got it. Yep, da, da, da. Baking or parchment paper. Yep, baking or parchment paper. It's exactly the same. Um, how do you use the Nouveau powders? Um, I will be showing you that. I will show you, all right? Um, if I forget, shout again, because like I say, I do get forgetful. I can't stay my, oh, I, I knew you were going out. Oh, oh, look, have a lovely time. I don't know what show you're going to see. You're going with your daughter, aren't you? But have a lovely, lovely time. Enjoy yourself and you can tell me all about it on Insta. All right, thank you, bye. Oh, Judy, thank you so much. Oh, look, do you know what? I'm quite an emotional freak. I hit 60 and I cry at the most stupid things now. Not that what you've just done, you you two, is stupid, but it just, oh, do you know what? That just means the world to me. That really does, thank you. Oh, look at that. Right, I've got a few holy holes, so I wanna fill those in. Look at that, that is amazing. What should I put, should I put a bit more glassy ocean in? Cause I sort of lost a bit of that. Let's fill those holes in. Oh my goodness. Oh me, oh my. Okay, put the lid down. And people will have seen that I, I've done this on other videos. I've been doing this technique for years and years. I love it. But I just wanted to find other ways to do it. So, you know, I came up with doing it with the iron, um, like pouncing. I think one of the original pouncing ones was it through the, you know, two sheets of the baking paper. Um, that's brilliant. But this is... It's a lot less messy when you pounce, bits fly out. So if you're, you know, if you don't like it like that, it's, um, oh, that's all right. Jacqueline Craft, that's okay. No, do you know what? Oh, do you know what? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't have beer because I don't drink. I'm not for any other reason other than I would just fall over all the time. Um, but the chalky sounds great. <laughs> I, I should have said this at the beginning. Can I tilt it? Sorry. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pick it up and bring it. I can't I can't touch this because it's hot, all right? Um, but, yeah, let me just, let me get this and then I'll bring it up to the camera because that looks pretty good. So if I hold it, can you see that? There you go, Sandy. Yeah, so I want this to set now, it won't take long. We just, well, it'll take a little bit longer than that. <laughs> that was still important. <laughs> okay, I want that to just sit there and, and set and then I'm gonna die cut it. But someone else, um, yeah, oh, sorry, I see, look, I digress again. I was gonna make cards originally, and then I thought, you know what, I've got so many techniques I wanna show you. I realize I can't keep you all night, obviously, or day for you guys in America, um, or Canada, wherever you are. Excuse me, I'm gonna cough again. <coughs> this is what's put me off doing lives as well, having this blimmin' cough. Um, but anyway, um, I've forgotten what I was saying. 
<laughs> rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. I don't know. Um, okay, so what should I try? I am going to try... I'm going to go... Right, this, this, this is a little white chipboard. Okay. Go ahead, keep you all night. <laughs> oh, hello, Mariska. Cards or techniques, exactly, Donna. But the thing is, all these techniques I could then make into cards later. I just want to show you different ways that you can use, you know, even if you've got a bigger one. I'm, I'm now wishing I've got a bigger one. But hey-ho, I do love it. It's cute. It's adorable. Right. White chipboard. It's in the description, the video links description, if you want to get some. It, but you need to use... Um, like big dies with it. You can't use the thin dies. Um, and all it is, is I just buy the white chipboard and then I've just got an old Sizzix big die that's got this shaped butterfly on it and I just cut loads out. So, yeah. I'm just going to take another sip. Okay. Now, this is a pure experiment. It might go horribly wrong. I'm used to saying that now. This stuff... This is called melt it powder. Now, melt it powder, it's unique to wow embossing powder. It's an incredibly fine powder. It's like oh, it's like icing sugar. It really is. It's unbelievable. Um, but what that means is it acts like a carrier. So for those of you that are worried that you haven't got lots of powder, if you've got this, you can actually mix say so a teaspoon of this and a teeny teeny amount of this mix it together and this will become colored whatever color you use so bear that in mind but i want to just try some ink so it's clear as itself but if you leave it getting too hot too long it will go yellow i've probably chose the most awkward shape because i like to stress myself out obviously so i'm just putting this on Let's go like that. So I want quite a bit of it. Not quite a bit, but I just I don't want it completely flat on there. I might do one one side and one the other side. Let me try, because this is an experiment. So this is what this is all about. I like to play. That that's that's my bag. That's what I like to do. And then you guys can think, ugh, that looks horrible. Or oh my goodness, I love that. I'm gonna do it. But it means that you haven't had to go and buy it and then realise you don't like it, etc. So, oh, Kenzie, that's, that's absolutely fine. Thank you so much, though. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I finally got there on the live. <laughs> right, so this is Melt It, yeah? So I am just going to try. I should have probably pre-mixed it. But I just want to see, oh, I loved this. This is sea turtle. It was this one that gave the golden bits in it. So I'm just going to mix this in. So it should be, I don't know what the word is. It's not going to mix completely. Yeah, because I'm just putting it on top. Then let me try. This is the Nouveau Shimmer. This is Atlantis Burst. Yes, yeah. Um, Donna, exactly, just ensure you've got the right machine. So I use them in a big shot. I've got big shots, so um, let me just throw that on. And then let's put, I don't know what this one will look like. This is the Sunray Crosette. Just wanted to say that word. Um, just throw a bit of that on there. So I'm just doing one one side. One's got embossing powder. And one's got these um, little Nouveau shimmer powders. So I'm going to grab myself another cocktail stick, one that isn't broken this time. Could you use some kind of a mask on the chipboard just to put the powder absolutely in specific areas? I didn't finish. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, do you know what? I'm just looking. I wonder, not that it's the sh same shape butterfly, I've got these, um, a pocket full of happiness butterfly um, dies. But you saying that, I wonder if you could just lay that on, sprinkle it through, 
you'd have to lift it very carefully. You'd have to use tweezers. Um, and then you would just get lines. Do, do you know what? If, if I get time, and I, I don't know if I've got any of these cut out in plain, if I've got some plain with me, I'll have a look. Let me close the lid. Um, right, I'm just going to go through some of the doodahs. Uh, can you cut them on any machine? Well, Betty, like as Donna said, I, I use the big shots as long as it takes like thick dies. Um, so any of the Sizzix, like big shots, the big shot pro, etc., they all work lovely. Um, I don't really use any of the other machines. I'm a bit of a Sizzix freak. Okay, I'm just peeling this off. So that peels off lovely look at that and look you can have matte on that side let me come up to the camera matte on that side but who wouldn't want shiny on that side okay um sorry are they watercolor powders yeah these nouveau shimmer powders that you can use them as is but if you spritz water onto them then they burst into other colors a bit like um oh what are they called Something burst. I can't remember. <laughs> I really can't remember. And and yes, they're like a mica powder, Judy, as well. So um, I don't know what luscious powders are, but I bet they sound luscious. Um, I have stamping out, which was nice part. Absolutely. Yeah, those would work. I'm always not just going for it. Do you know what, Candy? Never, ever be nervous. If it goes wrong... You just, well, you use it for something else or you just get rid of it. Don't beat yourself up over it. You know, and especially when it's a bit of card, that is literally all it is, a piece of card. Oh, look. Right, I just want that to, I want to bring my, um, one of my big shots up. You can, if I just move that a little bit, you can go in and just clean this off if you want to reuse them. You could... Just lay something else on there. Just never lay it down, that side, down. Keep it up this way where there's none of the powder. Okay. Colour burst, that's it. I've got some of them up, up in my studio. Forgot about them. I just grabbed the Nouveau ones. Right, let me just... I've got a little bin here. Look, I'm all organised. You wouldn't believe it, to be honest. But Okay. Right, so, if I'm die-cutting this... I'm going to take another piece of parchment because I'm going to put that on the top and then I've got my little, um, oh, Patsy, that's fine, Don. You did say that you couldn't stay. Um, lovely to sort of see you. We will catch up soon, all right? I promise. I keep saying that. <laughs> Patsy's um, someone who, I, she comes to my classes, but I give her lots of cards for her charities that she does she does amazing things for charity um and she i've just said to her recently i've got a load more for her um so yeah we will catch up soon patsy but have a lovely dinner okay um right so a little thin die cut this is quite thick in fairness so we'll see if it goes through i might have to put it through a couple of times but i'm going to put the parchment between it so it doesn't get stuck in there if i just done it like that Chances are it could get stuck. So I want to, oops, want to put the parchment between. I'm just going to have a little look at this, see how I'm doing. Right, see that just looks beautiful. Now I used a teeny tiny amount on there. Now what's going to happen if I spread this out? I, I need to hold it in place as such. Let me just stick that on there. Just give it a little swirl, just to mix it in a bit. So what it's doing is that's now mixing into that base melted powder. Oh, look at this. This looks lovely. Now, one thing I'm noticing, it still looks like a powder. So the powder, have you got blurry video issues, Donna? Um, but my laptop is super clear. Okay. Oh, um, sorry, um, Ziggy, no, I, I don't put parchment under it. You can, if you want. It just makes it a bit thicker. It, it won't really matter, to be honest. Let me just um, 
just get rid of some of this. Right, so I'm just going to do a little bit more of an experiment because, where's my doodle? If I bring this up and show you, this has gone beautiful. So, oh, Kim, thank you so much. Oh, you're going to make me cry in a minute. I'm like, <laughs> it's making my voice go. <laughs> you guys are just the best, you really are. Oh, thank you. Um, right, sorry, back to where I was. Look, I'm going out of um thing now. Look, calm down, Marin, calm down. Right, so that's with the embossing powder. This has got the um nouveau shimmer powders. They're obviously a powder, they need to react with water. I could spray them, but I ain't got a spray with me. Um, I don't know what would happen, but what I was thinking, come off you, what I was thinking was if I put more of the melt it on top and then like sealed it in, would the molten melt it? I've got to try and think this through. Will that sort of make it melt down a little bit more? Is anyone in my head with me and understand what I'm trying to think here? So just little bits of the melt it. This is such a teeny tiny spoon. And you can spread it around a bit. It might not look, might not work. It might look awful, but we shall see. Okay, right. Let's just close that. Put me lid on. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's stick stick that out of the way because I've, I've got all my stuff out everywhere, and I'm trying not to get in a mess. I'm thinking, hmm, if I move it, this, this does get hot, you know, guys. So. If I, where's my other, hang on a minute. Oh. oh, you even get sound effects with that one. Right, so, I am gonna. Oh, bless, <laughs> thank you, Jacqueline. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Right, I've just got to get this in the right place and see if I can, ugh, I might have lost a bit there. I pro do you know what? Do a smaller heart, Marion. Why do you stress yourself out? I haven't done a big enough piece for the size of that heart, honestly. Let me just, yeah, look, here we go. Here we go. At least I can fit that on now. Right. It is a pancake maker. How cool is that? Right, so let's just go like that. You know it's going to move again in a minute, didn't you? Let's go like that. And then we'll run it through. <sighs> oh, do you know what, Sue? I know you're talking to Laura um, and you said it's a pancake, a bit like a sandwich maker. I saw someone bought a... Um, a flatbed, like, grill, th I don't know, it was like that, but this size, and she was cooking sausages on it, and it had a top and bottom. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's that, but in a big rectangle. That would be brilliant. Okay, let's just take this off, and then pop that out. Peel this bit off, because we don't want that on there. This is just the parchment paper, remember? Yeah, come on, girl. There we go. And there you've got that beaut. Oh, I was doing it all out of shot. Sorry, <laughs> I've got to keep looking at the um screen. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. And I just put them on a little card. Um, and if you saw the other card, I should have bought them down actually. This one I've just split because I'm numpty, but. You could actually glue that onto your card like that. Do you remember the card I done? I had love you written in there. And then I had one with love you on there. So you get two for one. You could do, this would glue together once you stuck it down. And it's just, you know, it just, um... oh, hang on. Joyce, you're asking, I wonder if a waffle maker would work. I haven't got a waffle maker, but I'm assuming it's got loads of little holes in it. Um... 
so yeah i don't know um the glue i always use and i always put them in all my links um i got introduced to it from a lady called denise um and it's barely arts glue oh my goodness it's amazing okay right so um so do you need to use a special glue for them to stick what, so if I'm sticking it to a card, is that what you mean, Ziggy? Um, then, yes, I just use um, the Belly Arts glue. If it's something and it's got, like, imagine this, and it's got loads of little bits all around it and you want it completely stuck, I would use a spray adhesive. So just flip it over, spray adhesive on the back, and then stick it on the card, and the whole thing's going to be stuck down beautifully. And especially when you're putting it through... Um, your doodle, um, the post, you know. Right, so let's just move that there. Right, I'm gonna put that in my little bin. Let's bring this guy back. I'm using that because I don't wanna burn myself. I've probably overdone it now. Oh, do you know what? I'm not, I'm not completely impressed with that. I feel like it did work in some places, but it didn't in others. It's just a great way of um, not having to use so much powder if you don't want to. And it just gives it a finer effect. I've still got a bit of powder powder from the Nuvo shimmer powders there. The rest have covered over with the Melt It. And I really like that as well. Oh, yes, Sally. In the UK, Bumbleberry um, sell it. Well, when they've got it in stock. <laughs> Okay, so that's another one. Let me just put that, mm, I'll put that over there. Now, what else was I gonna do? Oh, there's so much. I keep I keep sort of thinking and then I'll, I, I forget about thinking. Ah, right, okay, lots of waffle makers have reversible plates. Brilliant, I didn't know that, that's good. And, and that's another reason why I done a video on this um, last week, whenever it was. Um, because I knew loads of people would have them in their cupboards. They buy them, like we all do, um, use them once and then stick them in there and it's like a novelty. But I never had. Excuse me. <coughs> right, another little cough. So, yeah, so if you're going to die cut, just put a piece of parchment in between, okay? Oh, thank you for the love hearts. I, I think that helps me with YouTube, apparently, so I'm told. I might be wrong, um, but I'm told it does. Right, so I am going to have a go. I'm going to put that back on there. Let me just... What if you dipped your two... Oh, Candy, you genius. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've only got me water that I'm drinking. I don't want to dip it in that. I could ask my husband, I suppose. He's like, he's probably going to go deaf on me now. Ricky? Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind getting me a little bowl of cold water, please? Just a little bowl of cold water, please. Yeah. Thank you. Right, Candy, we're going to try it because Ricky's off to get some water for me. Am I getting paid? Yeah, yeah, I'll pay you. <laughs> Oh, I've got a cough now. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I'm going to take another one of me little sweeties. Um, see if that helps. Ricky is a really good sport, but you know that, Donna, because you know him well, don't you? So, oh, Ramona, I'm going to have to do the translator to see what you're saying. But I can tell from your emojis it's lovely. You always do lovely messages. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. Oh, one of my favourite bowls as well. Thank you, darling. Um, right, okay. So, this is still... Oh, do you know what? Let's just add a little bit more. I feel like I need to sort of do it all backwards again now. Let's just throw a bit of that on there. And then, if I... Oh, oh look at my bowl. Oh, do you know what? This might not have been what you had in mind. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, welcome, Debbie. Oh, yeah, look. It is a genius idea, but maybe my toothpick needs to be... Hang on. I wonder what would happen if I put that in there. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have given it a little... Oh, I think she meant to swell like you would normally do. Yeah, you're right, ain't you? And I've done it completely wrong. Completely wrong. So don't copy me, guys. <laughs> Not on that one, anyway. Look at my bow, isn't it lovely? I love them. Um, yeah, we, we might come back to that. Let me just move that out of the way. It's just going to have a bit of water on it now, isn't it? Okay, so what was I going to do? Someone else. Let, let me just, I'll come back to that, all right? Um, be careful from steam. Oh, it, it weren't on there long enough, Kim, to, to give me any steam. I promise. Um, okay, so what we've done, we've done that. And then that was with the, um, oh, I love that. It's just, and they're so not my colours either. Oh, let me show you. So I got me a bit of wood out, didn't I? My heart. Right. So I have got some little wax doodars, you know, for your stamping. So let me go. Let me try. La da da da. Honestly, I think I think these are all for little tiny tiny people because you just can't get your fingers in there. I don't think I'm gonna need a lot because I think. They're gonna they're quite high, aren't they? So I think they're gonna spread out. And I suppose I could always add a bit more. Or I could add some powder. So let me get that. I just want to make sure. Make sure it's not gonna to touch. Nope. Okay. So I'll leave them like that a minute. Oh, Donna, don't talk about cookies. I've already had, um, who else was saying they're having chocolate? Honestly. <laughs> right, I'm going to get this ready because this is just a little um, snowflake one. I think I got this um, when I was out in the States with Donna. I'm sure I got it in Michael's or somewhere like that. Um, anyway, but look at the colour handle, isn't it beautiful? So... Let me just say, I think this is going to take a little bit longer. Right, what are the small patterned piece, blah, 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 pieces? Um, do you mean these ones, AJ? Is that what you mean? Oh, or do you mean what I've just put in the thing? Do you mean the little wax pieces? Or did you mean this bit? I'll wait and just see what you say, because I know my little screen is a, a minute or so behind. Um, Sandy, I believe these really are like interference powders. They are when you wet them anyway. Or do you mean like the mica interference? I'm so annoyed because I've got them up in my studio, but it's it's right at the end of the garden. It's a bit of a, I'd say a bit of a run, but I don't run. So, <laughs> um, oh, wax melt, sorry, oh, that's all right, AJ. Um, yeah, these are just little, look, they're going to take a while, wouldn't they? Just little bits of, um, you know, when you melt it in your little wax spoon, not your wax spoon, obviously that would melt. When you melt it in your little metal spoon and then pour it and then stick your um, wax seal in there. So I just want those, do you know what? I, I am, I'm always nervous of water near electric. So I'm just gonna move that over there. Right, and I'm just gonna have a little look and see if I've missed any, um, you need to spray the Nuvo powders. Yeah, I do, gal. Um, and I think I realized that in a previous video and I forgot about it. Oh, an eyedropper, that would have been good, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ramona said your ideas are so good and she loves your light. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pay him in embossing powders. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, 
Do you want to be paid in embossing powders, Ricky? <laughs> that was a no. <laughs> no, the Nouveau powder won't melt. It's it's not um it's not an embossing powder in any way. Um, but yeah, I just I just wanted to grab things and just try. It was mainly about substrates. Um, and just seeing how they work, etc. How are we doing on this? Oh, 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 look at that. <laughs> right, so I need that to spread a little bit. I don't want to use this. So I will probably, let me just get that back in there. All I'm doing, when I'm running this into my um, ink pad, is it's just giving me a coating of ink on my stick so it doesn't stick to it all. So let's just have a little look. So I wonder if I could just, oh, here we go. Here we go. Right, just hold that there a minute. I just wanna keep it. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Spread it about, but give it a little swirl at the same time. Well, you get little air bubbles in it. Well, that's okay. That's okay, look, look, look. So I don't know about you guys, I've got loads of wax melts because I bought loads. Um, and I, I have used a few, but I, I haven't used them like I thought I would use them. Oh, that just looks yummy. Doesn't it? Doesn't that look lovely? I wish you guys could talk to me. <laughs> Right, just want to say from Derbyshire, you're watching my first live with you. It's actually my first live with you as well, Paula, because I've not done a live before <laughs> on YouTube. Um, but do love watching you play with your stuff and experiment in your videos. And like, and yeah, that's how my head works. It's just, it never goes to sleep. So like, oh, thank you, Ziggy. That is so nice. I'm calling you Ziggy. I hope that's your name. I don't know. <laughs> that's so very kind of you. Thank you. It's like, oh, look, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're going back to talking about cookies now. Actually, Cheryl, it does look like icing. I could give that to um, Holly and she'll think she's got a biscuit. <laughs> right, let's just put that there. I just want to see, it's just a little snowflake. Let's just have a look, because I did get asked this. Will a wax seal work in it? So I probably haven't got it in the centre because I'm not very good at centering things. I might have needed it to be a bit hotter as well. So it is easier than making iced cookies. And you know what? There's no calories in them. Might break your teeth, but... <laughs> okay, let's move this out of the way. Oh, look at that. Seriously, guys, if you could applaud me right now, what do you reckon? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Um, is WOW shipping to the EU via IOSS? I don't know what IOSS is. WOW do ship to the EU all the time, every single day. But I have got no idea... What? Oh, thank you. I'm getting claps. <laughs> I don't know what iOS is. Can you elaborate on that for me, please? And educate me. I, I love... They do look like cookies. Oh, do you know what? Okay, so a lot of you know I've got um, twin granddaughters. I could, I could make these as like little biscuits for them in their little play shop. Oh, obviously, as long as they don't eat them <laughs> or try to eat them. Oh, that is, love it, love it. Oh, I do love it when a plan comes together. Right, okay, so what else was I going? Right, this one, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I don't know if it's going to make much difference. It might even melt on the thing. Thank you for the applause. <laughs> um, Judy, is that chipboard? What, the one I've just done the heart on? No, it's, um, it's uh, MDF. What you just did with the seal, would that work with a pack? Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it, it's something we used to do years ago, um, showing my age now. But yeah, we, we used to do what we call triple embossing. So we'd have three layers of embossing powder. We'd ink up a stamp just to give it a bit of protection on a clear 
um, ink pad like this and then stamp it in. And that is, you're just doing it in reverse, basically, instead of stamping in, you're, you're stamping on um, with a wax seal. Um, yeah, um, oh, thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just MDF, so I just buy these off of companies, um, and, you know, they're just, they're lovely. Right, button. I don't know what this is going to come out like. It might melt, I don't know, um, but we shall give it a go. So, what have I got? What haven't I used? Um, metallic Gold Rich Regular. Let's just put, oh, one stop shop means that I pay well and well cares about shipping and tax free. Oh, Cheryl, <laughs> I know you're not working today. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl Day, who's on here? Thank you, Cheryl, for joining us. Um, she works at Well, so she might know the answer to that. I'm really not sure if they do. I, I don't want to say yes, I don't want to say no. What have I got in here? Um, just in case, but Cheryl would need to know, uh, would need to know, um, oh, what's that? Oh, do you know what, Sue? I've just read your message. Oh, hang on. I wonder if it would work on the mini wood pieces that come in the divided trays. Absolutely. Are you talking about those little trays that have like nine holes and you've got little snowflakes, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely. It would. Right. Let me just a little bit of this on the reason is i just wanted to do it thicker and just see what it went like um so yeah what was i saying da, da, da. oh sue jones i just want to say when i bought this it was 13.99 or was it 12.99 i can't remember now um and when i went back and looked it had gone up to 14.99 they're cheeky absolutely cheeky aren't they but you know so yeah keep quiet about it right i remember those black pans that were plug in that melted the embossing powder oh yeah it was um it was the um i've got two of them up in my studio melt pots that's it oh, i didn't read the rest of your thing um it is because you're not using well the melt pot really was for pouring the powder into the base of it and then because it had a pouring spout and then you could lift it and pour it this you wouldn't do that with it um oh yes now one thing i haven't tried well i did try it with hand washing but i've never tried it um with uh machine washed with embossing powder on buttons See, look, you've got it so much cheaper in the States. I hope mine don't overheat. <laughs> Using it all this time. <coughs> Have I been on an hour already? Oh my goodness. I've got so many other things to show you. Um, that's nearly molten. Nearly, 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 nearly. Um, not quite. <laughs> Right, I'll just leave that. Right, I'm going to shut. Right, while I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do a bit of metal. Um, I don't know if this would um, sort of get stuck in all the holes. I sort of feel like it needs to sit on something, but I haven't got anything. So I will just. Oh, do you know what I could use? Hang on. Hang on. Let's just break one of them. Let's just see if that would work. I do believe it would. Right, okay. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Right, we ship goods using Royal Mail or DHL. Any duty and taxes are the responsibility of the receiver. There you go. Thank you, Cheryl, for doing that, darling. Appreciate that. Right, I don't know if you can tell, but how thick and beautiful that is. If I'd done that with the ink pad and embossing powder, then I would have to be doing... I don't know, I reckon four coats with that. And that's just a regular powder. It's not ultra high or anything. It's just regular. That looks gorgeous. I love that. Perfect. Right, I'm going to sit that there a minute. Let me just grab this. Right, okay. So, my cunning plan just now 
was if I sit a little um my little do 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 sticks on come here you and then place my leaf on then I should because it should melt it from the top as well so I am going to use a little bit of this this one is called Chinese lantern and it's like a, a beautiful orange and I believe it's got gold in there as well now okay this is going to be really random I don't know that I'd ever put orange and green together this is be kind and it's a sparkly one so let me just so this this way you are losing a little bit more because obviously it's dropping through the holes but I'm still only using a teeny tiny amount I really am okay let's just put that down so then it's going to heat from underneath so whoever said give me thumbs up or hearts thank you so much I really appreciate that really really appreciate that um because I do think I'm, I'm sure someone said it's meant to help um do you think it would work on a glass round ornament blank absolutely i have embossed on glass and it is beautiful it really really is um again i don't know about i wouldn't put it in a dishwasher i think you'd have to um just hand wash um but yeah it definitely would oh cheryl cheryl's back in work mode i'm so sorry cheryl <laughs> It varies depending on the order that I believe there is a set amount that can be sent overseas without incurring any fees. You're right, Cheryl. I'm not sure what it is, though. Um, yeah, do you know what? I had loads of these leaves and I only found a couple. Cereal boxes to die cut for, but absolutely. Yep. And yes, I can reuse that powder that's just dropped through. Right, I need to get under there so I can... Now, bear in mind, it's metal. It conducts heat. It's going to be very, very hot. But look, I feel like I'm coming up too close and me, me macro isn't on. I don't know if you can see that, but it is gorgeous. If I come down a little bit, that is beautiful. It really... Do you know... <laughs> I'm so impatient I want to touch it and it's like my logic is saying don't touch it it's gonna be hot no it's all right it's all right oh definitely Christmas ornaments Angela don't worry I'm hoping you can watch this on a replay I'm sure you can oh that is stunning do you know what I feel like <laughs> I feel like I want the glitter bit is beautiful now I wonder if I add, oh, I can hear something crackling. I hope it's not my thing giving up the ghost. I wonder if I can, oh, do you know what? It's going to be really hard, isn't it? To get little bits of white on here. This is White Ultra High. One of my all time favorite powders. I know that might sound really boring, but I just love White Ultra High. Right, I've saved loads of chipboard from small boxes at work, dressing but as I'm a nurse. Well done, you. We need nurses. I get everyone saving me their empties to craft with. That's that's perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect, Paula. So you're upcycling as well. Mm, I've got a little bit of white on there, but not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. But that, that's really, really pretty. Okay, so I, I can use that. I can take these little bits off. I can let this set. And then I can break it onto another piece. I could, um, I won't do it because there's other stuff I want to show you. Um, oh look, I've got a bit on there. Just get your little brush, give it a little clean. Um, look after it and it should look after you. So, what have we got so far? So we've got that, that. Mm, not impressed with that. <laughs> that side I love, absolutely love. The other side I just goofed on that. But that's fine. The button, the leaf, my little piece of art, which I just feel like, like Banksy, watch out. <laughs> I just love that. Um, a 
do want to show you. What do I want to show you? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, right. So, are you ready for this? Okay, okay. Right. This. <sighs> okay. So this set is probably one of my oldest Altenew sets. Beautiful day. I think they still do it now. Um, it's. I don't know, they do loads of layering sets. And what I did was, I because I got the dies as well, so I die cut, are you ready for this? Who remembers, where is it? Who remembers shrink plastic? Yeah, I used to use so much shrink plastic. I used to love it. We used to make little, um, little um, jet like pendants to go on our bracelets and little necklaces. Um, yeah, and it's just so much fun, it really is. So, but as we know, shrink plastic, usually when I do it, I would pop this in a mug and then I heat in there and then it all starts going blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, oh, do you, know, do you know what? I'm gonna try that. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just reading the things. Do you think the Nouveau would melt if you mixed it with the melted powder before heating? I'm going to try that. Right. If, if I forget, someone shout at me. Um, right. So anyway, so I used, and I wrote it down, mint to be on the bottom. Then the next layer was scallop. These are Catherine Paula colours. You know I love Catherine Paula inks. Then Bay Breeze, then Daydream. Now, let me put a bit of this on. What I don't want it to do is curl up which it will i don't know whether the heat is enough for it to work like that i feel like i've got to put my lid down but is it gonna um curl up at the top and then get stuck i hope not i really hope not um oh they do sell beautiful it's it's such a lovely stamp set isn't it it's absolutely gorgeous but um so while that's doing i also went in and I cut some leaves from my favourite leaf mix die set. They do a tropical mix as well of leaves. Just gorgeous. Um, and then, oh look, I've got these little butterflies cut out as well. Um, let me just put that there. And I punched holes in them first. So I just blended them with some of Catherine's inks. Hot tub, aquatini, all that jazz. Um, and yeah, we'll see what they go like. They can be earring, e earrings, earrings. I could be like Pat Butcher. Um, right, what's this doing? Oh my God. Okay, that's <laughs> a little bit of, little bit of steam. Um, will the was work on cardstock? The wax, do you mean, will the wax work on cardstock? I can try it for you. Absolutely try it for you. Can you use, yeah, absolutely. You can cut them from cardstock. I think I've already got some cut. I'm sure I got organised and cut some. Oh, I did. Look, I cut some snowflakes. Catherine Paula's snowflakes. Right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, get rid of that. Get off you. Let me just bring this up. Look at that little baby. Now, always remember the the inks will get more intense. The colours go more intense as you shrink down. Now, this could be a little pin brooch. Um, oh, that's okay, Heather. Thank you so much for being here. I, I do hope I will do more. I really do. I was only meant to do this for an hour, and I know I'm going over already. Um, but that is just gorgeous. So when you look at shrink plastic, if you look at how thin it is that it starts with... Oh, am I in the way of the camera? And then look how thick it goes, because obviously it shrinks down. So, I'm just going to do one at a time on my earrings, right? <laughs> so, Kathleen Paula's inks are dye-based inks, so they have worked an absolute treat. i done this on the, um, on the Sizzix shrink plastic. It's shiny on one side. And, excuse me, hang on. <coughs> excuse me. Sort of frosted on the other side. That was where I stamped the um, stamped the stamps, done the ink. But is yeah, absolutely. Who's just said that, Kim? Isn't that so much easier? 
so much easier. And it just looks gorgeous. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is just adorable. And I've got my little hole there. Let's do the next one. So, look, can you see the difference in the colours? I don't know if you care. It's not on white, is it? But they're just more intense because they've been shrunk down. You probably you can't tell on there, I don't think. I can, but I don't know that you can see it. So, a little tip. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing now. When I done this, I just took the stamps, but instead of stamping it on, because I'd already die cut it, I actually pushed it down into the stamp. I done that on all four of them. It was so much easier. So much easier. So yeah, so that's your shrink plastic. So I needed to show you that because I was so excited with that just looks adorable. Even that on a card. Oh, look, look, is that shrunk enough? I'll just make sure. Because what happens with shrink plastic as well, it finds its own flatness. It sort of levels out. So, oh, the shrink. And, and you can get shrink plastic in metallics, in black, in white, in clear, frosted. It's just, it's like, let's bring back shrink plastic. I found it in my drawer while I was going through. Oh, I think that one, oh, is that the same size? I reckon that might need a little bit more. A little bit more shrinking. Let's have a little look. Right, the other thing I wanted to show you, because this was something I got asked if um, if this will work. Um, oh, do you know what, Paula? That, that's exactly what I do. I just love experimenting. And, and as I say, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. It's no biggie. I don't beat myself up about it. Loads of things go wrong, by the way. You, you've seen all my videos where loads of things go wrong. Um, but I don't get precious about it. Let's just get that off of there. Okay, so. I was asked if... So this is a... Um, look, I'm, I'm boasting the Catherine Paula here. Um, what are they called? They're hot foil plates, joyful, I've used them on other things, joyful thanks, hot foil plates and dies. So, I have got, now, do I want to, I'll put it on there, and I want that to get hot. Now, I need to move stuff out of the way, so bear with, I need to wash this in a washing machine and see, um, what am I using that is shrinking? Oh, Jan, if I told you. No. <laughs> I'm using shrink plastic, Jan. It's a blast from the past. I used to sell so much of this in my shop back in the day. It's just, it's fantastic. Um, right, I want that to, let me just move all this out of the way. Look, I'm, I'm getting myself in a, a little bit of a mess. So I need that out of the way, that out of the way, that out of the way. I want to do all the little bits that... I've done so I can show you. Um, right now, oh, I've got some hot foil foils here. So if I do a bit of, let's go for a bit of that. Oh, it looks a bit marked. Um, there is something I want to ask you guys actually, if you don't mind. Um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you've had to buy shrink plastic. Um, if you do use the WOW websites, be them UK or USA, um, right, see, I shouldn't really be using this just yet because this isn't coming out for a little while. So you haven't seen me use this, all right? Just in case Richard, who owns the company, watches. <laughs> but I didn't have any other. You can get it elsewhere, but these colours are just amazing. So just watch this space. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, but he, he, he reckons he's going to come on and watch it on replay. So he'll know. He knows now anyway. <laughs> it should be coming out in July. Wow, of bringing out hot foil. There, I've said it. I hope I don't get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble, whatever. Um, Sorry, Richard. Um, Anyway, so... I'm just gonna 
put that there. Unless something happens and it doesn't come to market, I don't know. Right, so I've had a little play around with this because I use a couple of different big shots. Oh, you can't even see it, can you? Um, let me move this out of the way. So, I had a little play around with it. You still can't see it. <laughs> um, it's just between us and the internet. That's good. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Garnet Withers. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate that. Um, right, tab one, I've opened it to. I've got five pieces of WoW cardstock I've just stuck together. Um, I found that this worked best. Obviously, if you're doing it, give it a try with one of your, you know, your own little things, because different. even the same machine can have a different sandwich. Um, oh, do you know what, Paula? So many people have told me that they've found these at charity shops and thrift stores. Um, so definitely. Oh, Donna B from the Colorado Springs. I've been there. It is so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Have you got snow? Cheryl, don't tell Richard in case he doesn't watch this, what I've just done. <laughs> Cheryl's probably got her head in her hands now thinking, oh my goodness. <laughs> right, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Right, so I need now, I'm just aware of time, not because of me, I could sit here all night. I'm just worried about this being on all this time. Um, so let me just take this. So this is big thanks. And then I'm going to lay my foil and then I'm going to pop my card on. Oh, and then my doodle. And I wanted to try, oh, come on, you go through, come on. Oh, I might have messed it up now. Um, I wanted to try this because not everyone's got one of these foiling machines. So I just wanted to see. Oh, I missed a little bit. That's probably because I took it off and done it again. But look, I did do it earlier. Here's one I made earlier. That's how I knew to do this thing. And it works beautiful. That didn't. <laughs> That's nothing to do with the foil or the dye. I think that was where I shifted it. And then it also it cooled as well because you need to do it while it's hot. And then I also done it in a black as well, look. Just lovely, just lovely. So you can use, obviously, because this is small, you can't do, you know, a great big cover plate. Um, you know, what's it worth to keep you quiet? <laughs> oh, you know I'll treat you, Cheryl. <laughs> See, look, you don't have a foiling machine, so you can do this sort of thing. Obviously, I feel like I need to do that again just to prove that it does work. It does work, look, I promise, I promise. It always goes wrong on camera, you know that. It wouldn't be a Marion video without something going wrong, would it? Um, but anyway, so that was that. What else did I wanna show you? Was that everything? I can't remember. I'm just gonna move that out of the way i've done <coughs> excuse me the wax let me put this down and out of the way um i've done so i've done button i've done shrink plastic we've die cut it we've used it on metal oh i didn't show you that oh, do you know what this is just normal this is just um oh it's just the wooden heart. Um, let me just bring this round, hang on. It is just the wooden heart, but I can't remember what color I used now. I think, I don't think it was the dappled pearly fit. I think it was the tranquil azure. Um, and it just looked beautiful. So let me just put another one of these in there. Oh, and also if you've got chipboard, and um yeah it is isn't it <laughs> <coughs> it is happy gardener um 
Right, but if you've got chipboard and you use a translucent powder, yeah, with a T next to it, that colour, um, thank you, Cheryl, that colour will show through, through the translucent, yeah? It's only if it's opaque, it doesn't. But you can always, and this is what I use this most of the time for, I use this just to colour white onto my chipboard or wooden pieces, and then I can use translucents on there. Um, so I always have like a little pot of these things. I've got some little Christmas ornaments there. I've got hearts and butterflies. I just like to play. Oh, you wanted to see me do a, um, oh, a doodle, didn't you? Hang on, where's me? You want it, what did you want to see? Um, did it, dear? Um, someone wanted to see me doing it just on normal. Did you just want to see no, the normal powder melted on cardstock? I'll just wait and see what someone says. I love these dies. These are Catherine Paula's one of, oh no, they're not one of a kind dies. I've put them in the wrong packaging. Oh, are they? Oh, they are one of a kind. Because those are Christmas snowflake ones. Um, let me just, great, now I need a mini packaging maker. <laughs> Yeah, but look, I'm not in any mess. I've got a little tiny bit there, but it's just, oh. Right, let's just do that um, because I can't remember what someone said. I'm going to do my dappled pearl effects. Um, oh, do you know what? Don't, don't worry about being a beginner, Jacqueline Craft. I have been doing this for 40 odd years, okay? I honestly have. Um, and there's still things, well, the, do you know what, there's things that I do, and then, like, like, shrink plastic, it was only because I was going through my drawers, um, it was, I saw the shrink plastic in there, and I was like, oh my goodness, I so forgot about shrink plastic. Right, let's just throw a bit of that on. I've not put any ink on this. Right, Sammy Puppy, that's it. Can you do one with your pocket full of happiness dies? Um, can you emboss both sides of the chipboard? Mm. Well, I wouldn't, especially like this, because obviously as soon as you turn it over, that heat is going to melt the other side then, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I wouldn't on that. You could, you could emboss it, and then once it's all nice and cool, you could ink the other side, Pour your embossing powder on, hold, using some tweezers, and then you could heat set it with a heat tool. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, Donna, you're showing your age, and you're younger than me. <laughs> yep, that's true. Um, Linz, you could glue two pieces together. Um, can I do one with a pocket full of happiness dye? What do you want me to do? What I'm doing now with the Catherine Paula dye? Just just say again, Jane, Jane Harrison. Um, I'll tell you what, what's lovely about this, and I'm just catching up on a few things. Um, oh, no, you can put it in the oven, TJ. It's perfect. Um, but it's just more, it's quicker on here, and it costs a lot less. Um, but what was I going to say? You guys should all be saying where you where you're from. Because you never know, you could just be round the corner to one another and then you could go craft together. Wouldn't that be lovely? It's nice when you, because you bounce ideas off of each other. That's the only thing I hate about working from home on my own now. I get really like, because mm, I've, I've got no one to bounce ideas off of. Right, just give that a little bit more. Um, right, let me just see if... Oh, Betty Boots from Cambridge, Minnesota. Can you put embossing powder on the shrink plastic? Let's have a go. I have got, oh yeah, two birds, one stone. Oh, I've got them out, haven't I? Look, I've got a little, this is from um, Joker's A Pocket Full of Happiness, Fly Away With Me, a little butterfly. So, I will try it. I've got a feeling it might, um, I don't know whether I'd need to put some ink on it first and let the powder stick to it. 
um, because if I pour it on thick, then, oh look, this is a chunky monkey. Let me just pull that out. Um, if I pour it on thick and then it starts curling up, I think it will just curl up on itself. So let me use my, my brain here. Um, I'm just gonna move that out of the way. And I am gonna do just that. I'm gonna put the, can you see? Sorry, I'm out of shot and I. I'm gonna put the butterfly in the pad. Oh, I was asking you guys, um, oh, hang on. Can you put a base layer of embossing powder, the item you're embossing, and then a layer of powder on top? B, that's just done my head in. Can you put a base layer of embossing powder, the item, oh, do you mean, can you put a base layer of embossing powder on the item you're embossing and then a layer of embossing powder on top? If that's what you mean, absolutely. Yes, you can. Right, this is shrink plastic, okay? So I've just pushed it in there. So I'm not gonna get it really thick or anything. Let me just, actually, if I just use, I'll just use that. And then, what we go? Whatever. Oh, we've used Chinese lantern, haven't we? We've used Glassy Ocean. Um, pink Robin. I do love Pink Robin. Oh, look, you all loved Blue Tang, didn't you, in the beginning? So let me... Oh, look, you're all saying where you're from. How wonderful. Okay. Then let me just... What I used to do with this is before I shrunk it, I would stamp with um, stays on um, ink and stamp a pattern on there. And then that used to look absolutely beautiful. It really did. But I haven't got any stamps with me. I'd said to Donna earlier, I'm really organized. I've got it all sorted out. <laughs> I wasn't. Right, okay, come on in you. Well, this is a good test as to how long this lasts on for, so it's been on for an hour and a half. Oh, do you know, oh, look, 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 look. Let's just, let's give it a little disease. See what happens. Okay. But, oh, do you know what I'm saying that about stays on? But, um, when I've done these ones, I just used Catherine Pauler's inks. They're dye-based. Where am I from, Pat? Can you not tell from my accent? So, <laughs> so many people get it right. <laughs> I'm from Essex. So, <laughs> bit of a common old bird, I know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm from Essex. So... That Donna's told you all well anyway. Even if I'd lied, she'd told you. <laughs> Lisa Jordan, or is it UK? Where are you, Lisa? To where you are. Oh, see, I love all this. Right, how we do? Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, I should have shut it back down again. Oh, look, seriously? Look, look, look. I need to get it on there so it's not going to fall. How cute is that? And because blue tang, if I'm correct, yeah, that's a translucent. It looks like a piece of glass. Is it cool enough yet? No, it's still a bit warm. See, I'm so impatient. <laughs> Honestly... That is so gorgeous. From the side, you can see it's like glassy. I don't know if you can see it like that. Can you, oh, can you just see it? If I turn it a little bit more. And it lovely. That is so nice. Just have patience, Marion. Oh, look. And I love the little dots of white ultra high on there. It is, it's like a piece of glass. Honestly. Yes, it is, Betty. It's shrink plastic. 
Honestly, you're all going to go and get shrink plastic now. I know you are. <laughs> or you've probably all got it in your cupboards anyway. Oh, that is just amazing. I love that. I don't know what the highlight of my night is, actually. <laughs> I love it all. I really do. Okay, so let me just lift this off. I used quite... I should have got this off while it was still warm. I probably need to do that just to melt it off. Um... A, just a plain piece of like white cardstock, like a heart or something is easier than using a snowflake. Obviously, I had to go for the hardest one, didn't I? But you just want to, because that's actually all set on there. It's cooled down now. Um, wishing I had a purple. Have I got a purple with me? No. Oh, I wonder though. I wonder if I put a bit of blue tang and pink robin together. Oh, I was gonna try something. What was I gonna try? Um, oh, what was I gonna try? Someone asked me and it was to, oh, it was mixing this in with the melt it, wasn't it? Right, I haven't got any empty jars with me, but, look, sorry mate, but you're gonna have to come out now. Okay, that's better. See, look, so now I've melted that off. Oh, that's just the, um, palette knife under there and I can poke those little bits out there we go so yeah so that's it oh, look I'm, I'm holding it over here you can't even see it there we go so that's the little snowflake straight onto and that was just the wow cardstock that I die cut so yeah okay right but now <laughs> I haven't got, as I say, an empty jar. So just be, what am I gonna put it on? Um, do, 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 do. Well, can I just say, Lisa, Tim Holtz embossing glazes are exactly wow translucent powders. He just came up with a fabulous name. <laughs> <laughs> and called them glazes, but they are just anything you see from Wow that's got a T on it, that means it's translucent, that's exactly what a glaze is. So it is just a, a, a translucent embossing powder. Um, beautiful colours, obviously, but Wow do gorgeous colours as well. Everyone does lovely things, we should all share and love each other, love it. Right, so I'm going to mix a bit of Melt It, Let's go, I'm just gonna use that as a little, like that. And do you know what, I might try it on a button, just to see, do you know, this is like alchemy, isn't it? Do you die if a foiling need to be a hot foil dye? Um, it depends what foil you use. You can use hot foil foil with a normal dye, because um, you can still heat that up, heats up perfectly. It is, the difference is with, with hot foil, it's actually got, um, <coughs> excuse me, like a glue all over it. Tiny, 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 tiny bits of glue all over it. Um, and, then, but, and then the other foil that works on the toner... It's like the toner is the glue. So that's why that foil only sticks to the toner, the ink. I hope that makes sense. Bye, Joyce. Thank you so much for joining. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, hang on. I'm just going to mix that. And then, if I've got enough on there, I think I probably have. Now let's just mix, 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 mix. Oh, look. Oh, can you see? I'm dipped it all the way. Right. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. Right, let's just do button. And I'm just gonna. If I had it in a jar, it would be easier, but obviously, I didn't have a spare jar. I think the answer. It's going to be a resounding... Oh, look, there's loads on there. <laughs> Probably far too much. <coughs> oh, yeah. So 
sorry. Well, do at the moment, um, well, do the um, what you call it, um, the toner foil, yeah. So, with the toner sheets, they do that at the moment, um. But yeah, if you go on to the on on this video, there is a description. If you click the more thing or whatever afterwards, there's a description and there's loads of links, and that takes you to the Wow USA site, Wow UK site, Scrapbook.com. Simon says anyone like that, um, and you can grab bits there, and I appreciate it. Trust me, I really do. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Well, it's melting around the sides. I've put so much on, it's really thick. <laughs> it might take a while, but yes, it is going to work. Oh, the Wow Fab, they're called Fab Foils, and they are beautiful. They really are. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Linz. <laughs> Do you know, I was rubbish at art at school. I weren't great at chemistry. <laughs> I just have a brain that doesn't stop. That's why I don't sleep. And I just I just enjoy coming up with ideas and seeing if they work. And if they don't, then try and come up with another idea. And if that don't work, try again. And if that don't work, then I just sulk. But, you know. But look, I just wanted to show you that. That I played around earlier because football was on. So Ricky was watching that. And this was from the um, Delicate Blooms trio the Tranquil Azure, and I just put that on. It's got it's opaque marble in, so bits of white come through. And then I put the ebony ultra high and done the swirl on there, and and it lovely, absolutely beautiful. And you could put um, gloss ultra high clear gloss. I might try that on there actually, just to see if it will give another coat to it. How are we doing? Oh, that's going to take ages. Oh, I've got so much on there. <laughs> By the way, Richard, that's not you, Sally. Fed Eugene, is it? Or have you just got a brother called Richard? <laughs> oh, Judy, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad this has lifted you. I hope you feel better soon. But I'm making me... <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, Paula's husband. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, do you know what? It's just, Wendy, it's just what I love to do. I really, really like experimenting. And like I say, if it goes wrong, so be it. Oh, that was the other thing I've done, wasn't it? That really does look like a little cookie or biscuit, as we'd say. It's gorgeous. And this was that wax. This isn't embossing powder. If I wanted to make it shiny, I could actually put some melted powder over the top or the clear gloss ultra high. But I, I love it how it looks like that. I'm gonna cough again. <coughs> I need more water. Oh dear. This cough just is not going away. Oh, it will be another Richard. Okay, thank goodness for that, because I thought that was Sally, his sister then. <laughs> I was gonna say, Sally. <coughs> oh. Oh, you're so welcome, guys. I've really, really enjoyed it. You could do it in a chocolate cup. I could do it in chocolate. Oh, but you know what? We were talking about cream eggs the other day and how do you eat your... Oh, look. Can't show you yet. Um, <laughs> how do you eat yours? Now, does everyone think this is weird? I get a hot cup of tea and I dunk my cream egg in and I suck off the top because it's all molten chocolate and then I lick out the, the cream in the middle. Is that wrong? <laughs> oh... Jacqueline Craft. <laughs> I love that. That's a, that's a good excuse. That is a good excuse. But you know what's great about this? You can just keep going back and watching it again and pausing it, having a play, pause it, have a play. Oh, so. Oh, no. You can't be allergic to... I wish I was allergic to chocolate, and I mean that in a nice way, because I eat far too much of the stuff. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. But it's probably good for you that you are. 
Um, oh, oh, do you know what? I've got an air fryer, Betty, and I did see that. Look at that. Oh, I need to get that off. Get off you. Um, get off, because that's going to go on my, my little plate. Come here. Oh, 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 <laughs> something had to go wrong, didn't it? <laughs> oh, that just means I've got it on the bottom of it now. That's okay. And look, where it's got, look, it's gone in the holes. So, all I've got to do there is, she says, get a little pokey and just, while it's still molten, just poke it through. I need to touch it. Come on, you. Come out. You know you want to. Okay. I'm going to unplug my little doodah now because I am a bit worried that it's been on. I was only going to do an hour. That's what I told me, hubby. I said, I'll only do an hour. So I'm just going to unplug that just in case. Um, but yeah, oh look, now I've just dropped something else in there. <laughs> look, it has to be the last one goes wrong, doesn't it? Oh, oh look, now I've just stuck <laughs> You probably can't tell on here. <laughs> oh, Marion. Let's see if I can melt that down a bit more. Okay. I've got a little bit. See all these little bits I can keep. So that's why I don't throw any of your parchment away. This is, although I've unplugged it, it should still be warm enough. Let me get these bits off. And then I'm just going to go through what we've done so I can remind you. But hopefully you will watch it back again. Um, again, I just want to say thank you so much. 171 people, stop it. Seriously, oh my goodness. Do you know what? I don't know if it was Donna I said it to <laughs> I said, I'll be happy. If I got 28, I'd be well happy. <laughs> I'm over the moon. Thank you so much. <laughs> really, really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Oh, I'm making chocolate buttons, absolutely. <laughs> oh. Oh, do you know what? No offence to you over in North America. I can't do Hershey's. I really can't. Reese's. Give me Reese's all day, every day. But I can't do Hershey's. <laughs> there is, I do call it something, but it's probably a bit unfair to tell you what I call it. <laughs> it's like, I just, I just don't like it. But then, but then I bring chocolate out to Donna and yeah it's galaxy chocolate and proper dairy milk chocolate is just lush right let's go through there again come on you don't do me now but i can't touch it it's still hot still hot okay right oh linda is lovely do you know what when we go to frankfurt um, I go with WOW and I teach there, um, or demo there because it's a trade show. Um, there's a, a Lindit factory on the way back and Richard always takes us in there and I'm like oh, walking around with me trolley and just filling me trolley up in the factory shop. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, do you know what? I, have I, I was so nervous. I really, really was nervous. Um, but I have thoroughly enjoyed this. It's been easier than I thought in the sense that, because I thought like I'm going to be trying to do this. I, I probably have missed messages and I apologise for that. <gasps> Galaxy, I love Galaxy. Oh. Um, yes, everyone, thumbs up. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know what that does. <laughs> I think, is it the little emoji thing you press? I don't know. I don't know what you press. I ain't got a clue. Um, but anyway, um, hearts, thumbs, whatever. Thank you. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, no. And I don't know why I was nervous because you've just been amazing. 
and I've really, really loved it. And I really don't want to finish, but especially talking about chocolate, I haven't had my dinner yet, so <laughs> I'm getting a little bit peckish. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, I'm just reading some of the things. I do love Cadbury, especially dunking it in tea. Um, Wendy, just went shopping and got a flat sandwich press for $17.99. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just member, member? <laughs> Sound like one of my granddaughters. Member nanny. Um, remember to use your parchment paper on it. Don't go straight on the plate. I mean, you could, but what you would have to do, it is non-stick. So you would have to then unplug it, let it cool completely down, and then lift it off. So, but yeah. I've I have so enjoyed this. Oh, thank you for reminding them of that, Donna. It does help me earn a little bit more because I do spend a lot on product. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it. And just thanks again. I sound like I'm really being like cringy now, but thanks so much. Thank you for the super thanks. Thank you. Thank you for just being here. Um, I mean, like, Ziggy, you're saying we really appreciate you. I really appreciate you guys. If it weren't for you guys being here, well, then it would just be me doing a video and talking to myself as usual. Um, Betty, you have a good night in, in um, have nice dreams. <laughs> Think up some ideas. But do you know what I would love, actually, saying this? Um, if you throw, you know, on the community page on the, um, on my YouTube then just throw me some questions or throw me some ideas out there and then I can try things. And, you know, because I could come on here on the live and just do some stamping and die cutting, like some of my videos, which, don't get me wrong, I don't think they're boring. I think they really help a lot of people um, and I enjoy doing them. But things like this are just brilliant. I know it blows some people's minds. I was going to try... Oh, do you know what I was going to try? Oh, I'll turn it off now, and I? I'll do it next time. Um, but, yeah, just just throw me some ideas because I do forget what I'm meant to be doing. I, I should write everything down and um, I don't. <laughs> oh, Julie, you're in Worcester. Lovely. Do you know, we're still looking at Suffolk. We was looking at Suffolk houses again today. I do love Essex, but it's getting really crowded now. There's so many houses and flats being built, which, you know, I know they've got to be. People have got to live somewhere. But I just don't like traffic anymore. <laughs> I want to go somewhere a bit quieter. Thank you, Cheryl. And Cheryl, do you know what? Thank you to you as well, because you weren't meant to be working and you ended up answering well questions. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. Um, and Richard, if you are watching, then have a look, because you've got greetings there. <laughs> so, and, and Donna, thank you so much for popping in and saying things. You've been brilliant. As you, everyone, I, I can't name you all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I find how, how many people were on here at any one time. Oh, Tanya, it's TJ. So T stands for Tanya, does it? Um, where in Essex are you? So I live in a, um, a place called Shotgate, which is in between Rayleigh and Wickford. We are a little village on our own, but it's slowly getting eaten up by Wickford, which is not that anything's wrong with um, only 69 likes. Goodness me. <laughs> Maybe the others didn't like it. <laughs> but thank you for that. <laughs> right. Oh, bye, Roberta. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lisa. So what do you do? You close the chat and then you give me a thumbs up. Oh, okay. See, I don't even know how this chat thing works. I might go and give myself a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, 166 likes. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh. oh, have you watched Tim Holtz as well today? <laughs> Gone from one extreme to the other. He's brilliant, isn't he? Oh, no, I don't know. You, um, if I click that live chat, no, you have to, I don't know. I don't know where you do. Oh, no, there's a little heart on the side. Oh, I've just seen it. There's a little heart on the side where the chat is. 
Look, I can give myself a heart. That's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> but I don't think that's the like button. I don't know. I don't know. Um, likes have a serious lag depending on where you're viewing. Right. I, well, anyway, do you know what? I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think from the comments and everything, you guys have too. So thank you very, very much. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, so I'll just, I'll just quickly recap before I go and have some food. So yes, that, oh, <laughs> I'm going over this side. This is just on the wild card stock. You can flatten it out as well. Oh, do you know what's nice as well? Do, um, and I probably shouldn't have done it in my dappled pearls because, well, actually it's nice because it's textured. I don't think you can tell that, but you could go in afterwards and just fold it and bend it in places and get it to crack. I need to push that little bit out. Mm, can't get it, hang on. Okay, so one thing not to do, guys. <laughs> While I went off talking, is that not the like button, okay? <laughs> I just gave myself some hearts. <laughs> um, I stuck this in to push the thing through and now it's got stuck. So I might be able to get it out, I don't know. Oh, look, I could probably push it through. Oh, I can push it through that way. But yeah, bear that in mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could bend this, crack it. You can put it in the freezer and crack it and then go over it with some black ink and then the black ink will go in the lines. And that looks really cool. Yeah, oh yeah, look, Sue, she's just said it. Crack. I've just seen what Sue said. Yep, so we've both said it now. So that means it's real. Yeah, freezer is perfect for that. Um, this was beautiful on the metal. I'm glad I used my little sticks to hold it off because I feel like it would have just become a big mess under there. I really do. Um, this was the little die cut we done. That just looks stunning. Then oh, this, the shrink plastic. I mean, seriously, look at that. And look at that. So that's it. Just This is just Catherine Paula inks. And then that's it with the blue tang embossing powder on there. One thing I meant to say is while this is warm still, you can, if you're careful, you can lift the wings up. So you can get this bit hot and then you can lift the wings because it's quite pliable when it's warm. So you can sort of play around with that. That button is just stunning. I do need to try and see. Me, me faux biscuit, me faux cookie is just lovely. Oh, love that. Self-love. It is important, isn't it? <laughs> just give it to myself, you know. <laughs> um, what else did I do? Oh, these. Da, da, da. The thanks, the, the um, using the doodah. Oh, the hot foil plate in there with your foils. Um, the wax melt. Oh, that was the wax melts. This is just... I don't know what's my favourite, actually. I really don't. I'm like, I, I think I absolutely adore this. I really, really do. So on that note, I'm going to try and come up with some other ideas. Um, and then I'd like you to as well, if you could, um, you know, test me, test my brain. Um yeah, watch replay. Honestly, Tanya, this was so cool. It really is. It is, isn't it, Donna? I, I really feel creative <laughs> doing that. It just looks lovely. Oh, it really does. Um, but yeah, so look, I'm not going to keep going. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Um, I think you know I appreciate you. Um, but oh, and my earrings. Don't forget me Pat Butcher earrings. Look on my shrink plastic. How cool are they? Honestly, but even just having them dangling on a little card with some little beads and that's nice, isn't it? Oh, uh, I'm not really an artist, but I try. <laughs> um, but one thing I am pleased with is this. It, it held out. So what have we? it was on. Oh, my goodness. It was on for nearly two hours. I was really worried thinking that ain't going to last, but it did. So, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. 
I'm going to go now so I can have a cup of tea and some food. Um, and I will see you again on a live. I've got another video coming out. I don't know, another day. Might be next Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember. I think I use those um, those big alternate flower stamps again. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much. I've got no idea how I stop this now. I probably have to go up. Oh, look, I can probably... Hang on, let's see if I can do this. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see if I get this right. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Look, I can talk to you. Look, I'm probably a hot... Look, I'm a greasy mess now. Look, hot, greasy. Look, roots. Roots and all. Let's move that a little. Right. I think that should come back. Oh, there I am now. I turned it off. As I, as I touched it, I pressed a button and turned it off. So sorry about that. <laughs> oh, look, I'm probably going to do it again now. Look, I can't, I can't get this right. Some people just do it smoothly. I think, I think all the professionals out there, <coughs> excuse me, they use these um, very expensive apps that you can just press a button and it switches from that camera to that camera. And yeah, I can't afford that. It's like, phew. I'd rather spend my money on craft stuff and bring you more fun. So, uh, so it's not very professional, I know. Um, but there you go. Um, but yeah, yeah, I was back, Donna. <laughs> right, okay, so hang on. <coughs> I think I've swallowed some embossing powder along the way. Um, thank you again. Have a lovely day, all of you over on in North America. Um, great, you've still got the rest of the day. I'm going to have some food, a cup of tea, and I'm going to get ready for bed. <laughs> After I've cleared up, might do that in the morning. Um, but yeah, thanks ever so much, guys. Again, I still don't know how I turn it off, but I will have a look. Um, thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's work out how you do this. So, I think... You press that and oh, are you sure? Yep, yeah. bye.